We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Let's just do it. Let's meet this thing head on. And you were, you were in it to win it. Well, 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 what a difference a few days makes. Before I could wrap my head around Sony's big blunder, they reverse course and all is right with the world. Or is it? Did Sony really learn their lesson? Or is there more to this story than meets the eye? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the cesspool that is modern gaming. As I mentioned in a few of my Stellar Blade videos, Sony has committed a couple unforced errors on their part that seem to have gotten the whole of gaming's fandom to revolt. First, it was Sony and Shift Up releasing a game that was completely different than what they advertised in initial trailers. Outfits were removed and characters made to look less sexy. But it was about much more than that, right? It was about false advertising at best and about sinister censorship at worst. But then some wonder genius at Sony got the bright idea to try to milk another franchise for what else? Money. And it ended up blowing up in their face. On May 3rd, Sony released a press statement that if you had bought Helldivers 2 on Steam, you would have to register with Sony and get a PSN account in order to play the game. <laughs> My initial reaction to this stemmed from a huge pain point for me, Sony's security breach a few years ago. If you don't remember, Sony got hacked a few years ago and millions of players had their credit card numbers stolen along with valuable, personal, identifiable information. All of this wound up on the dark web ready to be sold to the highest bidder. So having Sony come out and force Steam players to register with a PSN account was sheer fucking hubris. Also, if I'm a PC player, why the hell would I need or even want to get a PSN account? Like, how does that serve me? Oh yeah, it doesn't. It serves Sony's pockets. What 2023 taught us was that consumers were in charge. Anheuser-Busch and Target made questionable business decisions and customers voted with their wallets. Both companies lost billions in their equity market cap, or rather, these companies lost their investors' billions. So when Sony decided to be a little insidious pricks with Helldivers 2, one of the most popular multiplayer games in recent memory, fans knew they had some power. Within hours, reviews for Helldivers 2 tanked, receiving over 140,000 negative reviews. Sales all but dropped to zero. But the siege didn't last long. In a stunning turn of events, Sony reversed course and took back their insistence of having a PSN account. For the moment, it looks like gamers and fans have won. We won the battle, but the war is far from over. Companies have, for far too long, exerted way too much control in various industries. Add to that the overlords at BlackRock imposing their progressive ideology on people, and you have a recipe for revolution. People are fed up with this shit, and they've now seen that boycotts, if executed correctly, do force companies to change their behavior. It's like I always say, if you want to change anyone's behavior, you have to inflict pain. If the Occupy Wall Street protesters had launched a massive DDoS attack on banks' websites, instead of sitting around smoking weed and singing kumbaya, the banking industry would look radically different today. Gamers boycotting and attacking Sony's decision with Helldivers 2 clearly shows that they inflicted financial pain on Sony and Sony changed their behavior in return. So where do we go from here? Well, first things first, we cannot let up on Stellar Blade. False advertising is illegal and Sony must be made to pay for that infraction. The free Stellar Blade petition on Change.org just passed 80,000 signatures, but I don't think that's enough. It's not inflicting enough pain in Sony's coffers. I think what we as gamers need to do is what we did with Helldivers 2. We have to hit Stellar Blade reviews and hit them with negative reviews for their blatant false advertising. If we put up a united front, we're going to win. We've proven with Helldivers that it is possible. So let's get out there and fight. And as for Sony, I hope they learned their lesson. 
But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think that gamers can continue to put up a united front and beat the system? And what about Stellar Blade? Do you think we'll get the sexy patch anytime soon? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.